So today I'm going to give you a quick overview of Dask in Python. So if we if we go into Python 3, uh, we're going to import Dask. But Dask is basically, if you're familiar with Pandas, and Dask has been out for about four years now, but if you're familiar with Pandas, Dask is a way to work with very, very large sets of data. Um, and it's very easy to, to move from Pandas to Dask. So the first thing we're going to do here in this very simple example, we're just going to import Dask.dataframe as DD. And um, you could ignore this uh, pi arrow. This is Apache um, arrow um, binding, which you can also use with, um, with Dask, but it's just telling us we've got an old version there. So we're going to skip past that. We're going to create a data frame. Um, and we're going to say from pandas pd dot data frame. And let's go ahead and set uh, a column name here of column one and give it a range of, of 1 billion. We're going to create um, basically a billion rows and we're going to use 100 partitions of files once we write this out to a file. So actually, let's do 50 partitions. And you'll see how these things are partitioned after we write it to a file. Um, and I forgot to put my closing um, uh, parentheses after the 1 billion there. So right before the closing brace, Put a closing paren and then run that df again. And I forgot to also create uh, pd, import pandas as pd. So now run it. And um, if we hop over to htop, we can see how quickly this creates. It is single threaded for creating this, but it only takes less than 10 seconds. So once this drops down, um, we should see it done. And it is done there. So, so we have that df created. So the next thing we want to do is um, we're going to say column one equals column one times two, basically. So um, this is how you would express that df call one equals df call one, two stars and a two. So that goes very quickly. But the next, the, really, the thing we want to do here is write this out to a file, to parquet file. So df to to parquet is how you do that, and then you give it a directory name. Um, you could say directory slash file name if you wanted to, but I'm just going to call it file.parquet. We're going to use the pi arrow engine and write it out. Now this, thankfully, is parallel. So if we go back to htop, we can see all cores basically running at 100, you know, nearly 100% as it writes out 50 different parquet files. Each of them is about 230 megs. Um, and it's going as quickly as possible here. So that's done. So now if we exit Python and take a look at what we've got, uh, we've got this directory called file.parquet. It's 11 gigs. And if we take a look at what's in there with the tree command, you can see part.number.parquet. So if we take a look at one of those files, like part.3 or something, um, and see how large it is, we can see it's 230 megs. And we can use, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but if you had to look at the file, you could use um, Parquet tools, but it's very slow. So um, we could go ahead and run this um, with the cat command, which is really the show command. So we'll time it Parquet tools show file.parquet slash uh, Parquet dot the, the three file. Um, but this will take quite a long time. But when it comes back, we'll see basically a cat of that file. So this is just a real quick introduction to Dask. I recommend using it again if you've got, if you're using Pandas data frames, but it's larger than let's say your laptop memory or the virtual machine memory, use Dask. Dask is a way of indexing data frames and it's highly efficient and you can work with really big data sets that way. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.